Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. So this is going to be part two of my tape collection. The first video from this series basically touched on tapes themselves and I showed you about three cassette tapes that I had. So now I'm going to really get into, you know, the bulk of my uh, cassette tape collection. Um, I think today I'm going to try to show you 12. Um, I wasn't sure how I'm going to separate these videos, but what I'm going to try to do is just hit on the 12 this time for the greatest hits compilations. And then the next one, do the other 12, which are basically um, regular albums. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to try to do this in chronological order, as in, I think, the chronologic order of the bands themselves, like when they were popular. So let's start with this tape, The Rolling Stones Hot Rocks, 1964 to 1971. Of course, the uh, Rolling Stones were, you know, a classic band. Um, they had so many hits just from this era alone. Um, here is the front of the tape, which says, according to here, equal to two LPs, digitally remastered from original master recordings. So it shows um, just the name of the album and um, Abco Records. Now let's look at the spine here. Basically says the same thing, Rolling Stones, Hot Rocks, 1964, 1971. And if you look here, I guess I had to flip that. Here on the paper, it does show the names of the tracks, as well as you can see already on the cassette itself. So what were some of the big hits back then? Of course, the classic ones everyone knows were I can't get no satisfaction. Um, what else? Paint it black. Uh, Ruby Tuesday. Let's spend the night together. Jumping Jack Flash. Um, even the late '60s and early '70s ones, like um, you know, Honky Tonk Woman, Sympathy for the Devil. Can't always get what you want. So let's look at the tape itself, which seems to be just black tape and like i said in the first part of the video this the tapes themselves are nothing special to look at they're just standard either white or black or clear with a black background so that's side a with the songs on it and side b and as far as the paper itself it's nothing special just you know it says program a and program b which i you know side a and side b and it just shows, you know, who produced these songs and who did the cover design and some, you know, legal information on the bottom. So that is the Rolling Stones Hot Rocks. Okay, next one is the Who. Who's better, who's best. And just like the previous one here, it says two albums and one cassette. This is the very best of the Who. So this also shows, like, the group image and also you know some information like dolby system sound and it was released by mca on the spine shows who the who who's better is best mca and here you can see the songs on here so you can see you know these were their classic songs all the way up to i think the mid 70s anyway uh you can see that they are you know their biggest hits of course um, like My Generation, I Can See From Miles, Who Are You, um, Won't Be Fooled Again. However, it doesn't seem to have their most well-known song, Baba O'Reilly. But, I mean, it does have Pinball Wizard. It does have stuff from Tommy. It does have You Better You Bet. So, let's take a look at the tape itself. So, the tape itself has, you know, again, the names of the songs and the album title, and it just shows here's side one and side two. And the paper itself actually has a lot in it, so let's take a look. 
this folds out. So you have the names of the songs from side one, and they actually call it side one instead of program one. And here you see side two. And of course, all the credits for all the songs, they were all written by Pete Townsend, uh, pretty much. And well, except for, I think this one also has Roger Daltrey credited. But yeah, it has the names of the songs. And uh, okay, maybe there wasn't way more, but a lot of blank space here, but at least it folds out and it has song names and credits. Okay, that's the who. Next up, we have Motown cassette classic, Marvin Gaye's Greatest Hits. Marvin Gaye, of course, legendary Motown singer from the, especially the late 60s, early 70s. Um, since it's Motown, I don't think it has uh, sexual healing. But, and in fact, let's take a look at the spine first. Marvin Gaye's Greatest Hits, of course, on Motown. And here are the songs on here. You can also see them on the tape when I turn this around. But also here, you can see their big hits. <laughs> their big hits. His big hits. Uh, Let's Get It On. Um, What's Going On. Heard It Through the Grapevine. Mercy, Mercy Me. Distant Lover. So, yeah. Let's look at the tape. And it looks like it is going to be just clear with a black background. Names of the songs. Motown. Um, side one and side two and inside the paper there is nothing I'm sure eventually we'll have you know <laughs> cassette papers with you know content on it we'll see okay this was one of my favorites Billy Joel's greatest hits volumes one and two specially priced two record set on one cassette so here you can already see on the front, besides there's Billy Joel on the keys, it has the songs listed here. The big hits, you know, Piano Man, um, Still Rock and Roll to Me, Big Shot. Um, what else were the biggest hits? Um, Uptown Girl, Tell Her About It, um, Just the Way You Are, um, Moving Out. I mean... They're all here, at least up to, like, mid-80s. It doesn't have We Didn't Start the Fire, River of Dreams, but it does have, like, all their big hits up to this point. So, let's see the spine. Billy Joel, Grace Hits, Volume 1 and 2, two-record set, Dolby System. Does it say what label? No, it doesn't. Maybe back here. Okay, yeah, back here. You get to see the label, CBS. You also see it kind of right there. I'll close it. Yeah, see? CBS. But CBS Records, some legal information. And let's open the tape. Standard White. Just shows the names of the songs. And Billy Joel, lines one and two. And side one, side two. And the paper itself, well, it folds out. It has some stuff on it. Let's start here. So here's our list of songs along with credits as far as who produced them. Um, where they recorded and mastered. Um, as we open this up, we see Words and Music by Billy Joel. Here are the musicians on uh, these two songs because these were two new songs that they added for this compilation. So there are the credits for that. Um, if you want to contact uh, Billy Joel, at least back in the mid-80s, you can send them a letter there. <laughs> Billy Joel is a registered trademark. Didn't know that. So let's open this some more. And it shows the lyrics to the two new songs. Two new songs were, were Only Human and Nice Still Young. And that's it. That is Billy Joel. Okay, next we have Kansas. The best of Kansas. 70s rock band. Even though I believe some of these songs spill into the um, early 80s. Um, yeah, so their two biggest hits were the first two you see listed here, Carry On, Wayward Son, and Dust in the Wind. Um, interesting cover, by the way. So that is the best of Kansas. And it says it back here also. Um, don't think we've seen the, uh, label yet. 
uh, but we do see Dolby system here on the back. Oh, here we go again, CBS associate. And it just shows um, like the years that the songs came out. Um, also uh, a bit of a uh, legal information. So let's open this up and wouldn't you know it, it's a white tape. So it just has the name of the songs and Kansas, best of Kansas. Here's side one and side two. So what's in the paper? Well, there's this. Let's see. So it just shows, again, who produced it, on what albums were they on, um, management information, who mastered them, uh, address for correspondence if you want to reach out to them, um, some art direction, and also a list of Kansas albums uh, from the past. Okay, that's Kansas. So next we have Foreigner. It's a great hits compilation, but the album's called Records. Um, it shows what appears to be like a jukebox type thing. Um, in fact, I think one of their songs was Jukebox Hero. Yeah, there. So this has their greatest hits from late 70s, early 80s, like Cold as Ice, uh, Waiting for a Girl Like You, um, Feels Like the First Time, Urgent. So they are here. Um, it doesn't have I Want to Know What Love Is. I think this was right before then. So it shows, again, the songs here and here. There is The Spine, and there is Atlantic Records. So, Foreigner Records. And on the back, it just shows a bit of legal information where it's, you know, a Warner Brothers company. And, you know, all rights reserved. So, let's look at the tape itself. Tape is, well, it's white. Has song names and name of the album and Atlantic Records. And that's side one and that's side two. So, let's look at the inside here. So here it just shows the list of songs and who they're credited to, um, who produced them, a few special thanks, uh, the name of the uh, band members here. Also, it will show uh, certain management information and some more um, credits as far as musicians go. Um, like, for example, Junior Walker was the sax solo on Urgent. And... Uh, just the years they were recorded. And yeah, just uh, all only one page here doesn't fold out. So that is Warner. Okay, got about six more to go. I think we're doing pretty good on time. Uh, here we have Legend, the best of Bob Marley and the Whalers. Uh, this is a huge seller. I mean... If you have a reggae album, this is probably the one you have. Uh, Bob Marley was a legend. Um, these were his uh, most known songs from the 70s up to his death, I think like in 81, 82 maybe. Um, that's Bob. And let's look at the spine. Bob Marley and the Whalers. And it shows on the left, Tough Gong. That's the label. And also Dolby System. Uh, and we look here we see the songs that are on it. Uh, they're most known songs. We know them, right? No Woman, No Cry, Three Little Birds, um, One Love, I Shot the Sheriff, um, Jamming, yeah. So here you can already see the tape. The tape is basically clear with a black background. It shows the names of the songs. And here are you know, more information about the compilation and Tough Gong Records. So this is side A and side B. And if we look at the paper, it actually uh, has a picture of Bob Marley on the guitar. Um, it also is like a um, information about a box set that is available um, to buy, special limited edition. So let's pull this out, and we see here another advertisement for the story of Jamaican music, which shows songs by uh, many classic reggae artists, Jimmy Cliff, 
Black Uhuru, Burning Spear, Marsha Griffiths, Shabba Ranks. And here you just see the names of the songs and who they're credited to. And uh, main photography and thanks. So that's Bob Marley, legend. Okay, the next one is Police, Every Breath You Take, the singles. I believe I also have this on CD. So if you saw the CD um, video that has this, then you know this is their greatest hits. Like throughout their history from late 70s Roxanne to Synchronicity album. Um, and I think I mentioned also in that CD video that they have like an updated version of one of their songs. Um, Don't Stand So Close, I believe. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at this uh, spine here. It shows the police, every breath to take the singles. And this is apparently Chrome Tape, uh, a &M Records. That's the label. And paper looks different anyway. It used to just stop right here, but here it covers the whole, whole back. And it shows the names of the songs on side one, side two, and who they're credited to. So let's go ahead and open the tape and see what it looks like. And it's a black tape. Here is side one, which shows the police, every breath you say, every breath you take the singles and names of the songs, and side two. And the tape itself, the paper. So there's quite a bit in here. In fact, uh, it needs to be unfolded. So here you go. Has nice images here of Sting, Stuart Copeland, and Andy Summers, the band members, playing bass, guitar, drum, and, well, this folds out like that. It shows the lyrics to all the songs. Um, of course, you know the songs that are on here, right? There's Roxanne. There's, um, you know, Don't Stand So Close to Me, even though it's a newer version. Um, Every Little Thing She Does is Magic. Um, also, King of Pain and Every Breath You Take. There are the lyrics to that. And over here, they even included, you know, information about merchandising and, well, this looks a little cut off, but anyway, um, that is uh, more information about videos and all songs written by Sting and legal information. So, yeah, the police. Okay, next one is ZZ Top Greatest Hits. As you can guess, it's... Um, ZZ Top's greatest hits. So, uh, you know them mostly, well, I know them mostly for their uh, 80s stuff, like Give Me All Your Lovin', Sharp Dressed Man, Legs, uh, Sleeping Bag. But they also had a few hits in the 70s as well. I think Tush was one of them and LaGrange. Um, let's take a look. So, they were on Warner Brothers, uh, ZZ Top, greatest hits. And here are the songs that were listed here. Uh, as you can see, you know, Give Me All Your Love and Sharp Dressed Man. There's Tush. Um, Viva Las Vegas. I think that was like a single they added, which I think did well around the world. Um, yeah, a lot of songs on here. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the tape, which is, you know, it's clear with a black background, shows the name of the Texas band, their album name, and also... Their songs on Warner Brothers, side one and side two. And this, this is thick. Look at that. We actually get to look at a lot here. That's nice. So first you have the band. There's them. And then you can unfold it more. It's a lot to unfold here. In fact, it just fell apart. Oops. Uh, so... Let's put this back together. I know, you're not looking at much here. Okay, now, here it shows uh, the names of the guys in the band, Billy Gibbons, Dusty Hill, Frank Beard. Um, ironically, Frank Beard is the one without the beard. Um, who wrote it, some legal information. Um, and if we attach this, this, this is how it was. So you have also the... Names of the songs listed here. And here you show a, um, well, besides this woman standing next to uh, this projector, 
Um, it just has a little story about these guys. Um, you know, just a little statement about, you know, the band. And it continues when you flip it around. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's more of that story. Um, basically, information about each song. Um, here and then further here. Trying to hold this together. Whoops. So I think this was written maybe by the band. I don't know. Or, no, actually, it was written by whoever these two people are. But, yeah, it just shows um, information about the songs and some photography and art direction information. And it shows their catalog, all their classic albums. And more legal information on the bottom. So that's ZZ Top. Got a few more to go. Let's see, we have Asia, Then and Now, their greatest hits, um, basically 80s. Um, let's take a look at this spine, Asia, Then and Now. This was their album, which I believe is Geffen, right there. And then, here it shows the songs that are on here. Uh, their biggest hits were Only Time Will Tell, He of the Moment, Don't Cry. Um... Okay, let's take a look at the tape itself, which has um, two sides. It has side A is called then, side B is called now. Eh. Anyway, name of the album and the songs and by Geffen Records. And the tape itself, the paper, paper actually has some stuff on it. It shows uh, the band members um, also some information regarding, you know, who was involved with design and mastering. And here's some special thanks against the earth background. And here we show the songs themselves, basically who was involved in it in terms of, um, writing and also, uh, the year that it was released. Um, some more information regarding production and mixing and who were um, involved in instrumentation and some more songs information here. Okay, that was Asia. Two more to go. This one, Billy Ocean, Greatest Hits. There's Billy Ocean and here it shows his biggest hits in the 80s, and this is predominantly 80s. Uh, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Caribbean Queen, Get Out of My Dreams, Get In My Car. There'll be sad songs that make you cry. Interestingly, all his biggest hits have eight words in the title. Someone pointed that out. I didn't know that, but now we do. Let's look at the spine. Billy Ocean, Grace Hits. It shows RCA and Jive Records. And on the back, it shows the name of the songs and also some legal information. Let's look at the tape. As you can see, it's standard white. Uh, it just shows the album name, the songs, and Jive Records. Here's side one and side two. On the paper, it's got some stuff in it. Um, just shows credits as far as who was involved in some of these songs. Um, in fact, I believe one of these songs... I think it's licensed to chill, is it? Oh, no, it's not. Uh, I'll show you. Um, another one of these songs. Um, I sleep much better in someone else's bed. Yeah, W. Smith. Will Smith was involved in that song. Anyways, before his slapping days, here's a picture of Billy Ocean and some information on the bottom as far as management and art direction. Here it shows the lyrics to all the songs, to all of his hits. So you can see all that. And, um, yeah, that's Billy Ocean. Okay, one more to show you as far as Grace Hits compilations. Brian Adams, So Far So Good. Uh, Canadian rocker, we know uh, his biggest hits, Summer of 69. Um, we'll, we'll see them in the back. 
First, let's look at the spine. So far, so good. And here's the um, AM Records. That's his label, and it's chrome. And here, you know, again, it's different from the others where that they have, instead of just up to here, they have the whole back covering here. Um, what are some of his biggest hits besides Summer 69? Oh, of course. Everything I do, I do it for you. Uh, somebody, Heat of the Night, uh, Heaven, Run to You This Time. Can't stop this thing we started. Yeah, chock full of hits. Open this up. Look at the tape itself. And the tape is clear with, you know, black background. So here it shows. Um, Brian Adams, so far so good in the songs. And, oh, here we go. Just like, was it the Rolling Stones? Where it shows program one instead of side one. And program two. I don't know about that. Anyways, let's look at this. Show some images of Brian Adams. Let's... Open that up. And here it shows in very small print um, legal information about each song. Um, here's the band. Special thanks to all the people that are involved in making these songs, so on and so forth. Lyric book. The one we made grew too big for this cassette. Ha ha. Okay, so I guess you had to buy the lyrics if you wanted to see them. Well, back then anyway. There's also a newsletter. Songs listed and some legal information here. Okay, that is that. Now, that is my tape collection in regards to my greatest hits compilations. I'm going to do at least one more, which shows all the albums that are just standard albums. And uh, that will be the next one. Okay, until then, bye.